Hey, Felix! I got the wine. The car runs the shit. Six and a quarter. I hope you don't mind because the capital walk is working this week. Hey, no kidding, Felix. You really did a great job. But one little suggestion is come down a little with the lights and up very softly with the music. Hey, what do you think goes better with London Royal? Mancini or Sinatra? Felix, what's the matter? Something's wrong, I can tell by your conversation. All right, Felix, what is it? Let's start at what time do you think it is? I, I don't know, 7.30? 7.30? Try 8 o'clock. So it's 8 o'clock, so? So you said you'd be home at 7. Is that what I said? That's what you said, I'll be home at 7. It's what you said. So I said I'd be home at 7, and it's 8. So what is the problem? If you knew you were going to be late, why didn't you call? Uh, I can't call. I, I was too busy. Too busy to pick up a phone? Where were you? I, I was in the office, uh, working. Working hot? Yes, working. I called your office. You were gone. Uh, it took me an hour to get home. I, I couldn't catch a cab. Since when do they have cabs in Hannigan's bar? Wait a minute. Let me get this down on a tape recorder because no one will ever believe me. You mean I have to call you an offer when you're going to be late for dinner? Not just any dinner. Just the one I've been slaving over since 2 o'clock this afternoon to help you save money to pay for your wife's alimony. Yes, yeah, no time to have a domestic call. We have two girls coming down any minute. I don't know what I said. 7.30, 8 o'clock? So what's the difference? I'll tell you a difference. You told me you were going to be home at 7. <laughs> they were going to come here at 7.30 and have dinner. We have first have the cocktails. <laughs> then you can help you throw dirts. At 8 o'clock, they come here, we have dinner. It is now 8 o'clock. My London Royal is finished. If we don't eat it now, the whole damn thing will be dried out. Oh, God, help me. Never mind, I'm helping you. Just tell them to stay at the beach. We got $9.34 worth of it drying up in there. Can't you keep it warm? Keep it warm? What do you think I am, the magic chef? I'm lucky I can get it to come out at 8 o'clock. What am I going to do? I don't know. Keep pouring gravy on it. What gravy? Don't you have any gravy? Where the hell am I going to get gravy at 8 o'clock? I thought it comes when you cook the meat. Comes when you cook the meat? You don't even know what you're talking about. You have to make gravy. It doesn't come. Well, you're asking my advice, and I'm giving it to you. Advice? Advice? You didn't even know where the kitchen was until I came here and showed you. Felix, if you want to argue, put down the spoon. Spoon? Spoon, you dumb big rabbit. It's a ladle. Don't you even know it's a ladle? Felix, get a hold of yourself. Go on. The kids are all yours. Don't make a run your world for four people come a half hour late. Listen to me. I'm arguing with over the gravy. <laughs> well, they here. I'll do this. I'll get a sword. Cut the meat. Say what you want. I'm not taking the blame for this dinner. Who's blaming you for the dinner? Who even cares about the dinner? I care. I take pride in what I do. And you're going to explain to them exactly what happened. All right, you can take a Polaroid picture of me coming in at 8 o'clock. Take off that stupid apron. I'm opening the door. Listen, this is the last time I ever cooked for you. Because people like you don't appreciate a decent meal. That's why they have TV dips. You throw right through, then smile. Well, hello. Uh, Felix, I'd like you to meet two very good friends of mine. Gwendolyn and Cecily. Cecily and Gwendolyn? Uh, that's right, Cecily and Gwendolyn. Now don't tell me. Rob. No, no, Cardinal. Rob, both times it's Pigeon. That's right, Cecily and Gwendolyn Pigeon. You don't smell like water, Pigeon. You smell like cool, cool Pigeon. Uh, well, we'll, we'll remember that if it comes up again. Uh, girls, I'd like you to meet the, uh, my roommate and our chef of the evening, Felix Sunder. How'd you do? How'd you do? How'd you do? How'd you do? <laughs> well, we did that beautifully. Uh, why don't we sit down and make ourselves more comfortable? This is ever so nice, isn't it, Gwen? Lovely, much nicer than our flat. Do you have help? Uh, yes, I have a man who comes in every night. Aren't you a lovely Well, isn't this nice? <laughs> I was uh, telling Felix yesterday about how he happened to me. Oh, of course, Felix. He is. Oh, yes, of course, do me. <laughs> you know, it happened to us again this morning. Oh, what did? Stuck in the elevator again. Just the two of you? And poor God, we missed that castle up on the first floor. We were in there half an hour. No kidding, what happened? Mm, nothing much, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, isn't this really nice? Uh, why don't you sleep in an air conditioner? We haven't got one. 
one. I know, but we have. I told you Brenda would do that. <laughs> they say it may rain on Friday. Oh, that should cool things off a bit. I won't be surprised. Oh, That's sometimes it gets hot up after rain. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Did we, sir? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. I'm sure the girls like a cocktail first, wouldn't you, girls? Well, I wouldn't put up a struggle. They see. Oh, what would you like? Oh, I really don't know. What have you got? London Royal. She means to drink. We have everything, and what we don't have, I'm mixing the medicine cabinet. What will it be? Oh, uh, a double bottle. Yes, silly, not before dinner. My sister, she watches over me like a mother hen. Make it a small double bottle. A small double vodka, and for the beautiful mother hen. <laughs> I'd like something cool. I think I would like to have a double dram with a fresh ice. Unless you haven't got fresh ice. I was up all night on a sledgehammer. Oh, I shall return. Where are you going? Get the refreshment. It's like what will I do? You can finish the weather report. <laughs> Don't forget to look at the meeting. That's what happens with divorce. 